Good morning, everybody. I wanted to talk really briefly about Sativa versus Indica because it came up today in the Canamamas Unite group um, about Sativa and Indica and what they mean. And I want to talk about this because it's so important that we understand these two terms because you're going to see them all over the place. And I want to kind of give you a little bit of background and then how to work with it. So originally when the first uh, cannabis plant was uh, classified. I, I think the first one was sativa, but I don't remember. So the guy who classified cannabis sativa, he got to name it and he named it that. And then another guy uh, found, let's say indica, I think it went sativa indica, in a totally different region. And it looked a lot like cannabis sativa, but it looked enough different that he said, hey, these two are um, kind of subspecies of the same plant it had nothing to do with the effects that the cannabis plant provided. These two guys didn't like sit around and smoke a joint and say, oh, sativas make you feel really uplifted and motivated and they're like great for daytime use. Or they smoked an indica joint and said, oh, like this is really good for sleepy time. So um, I'm not sure how, how it all got translated into that um, in modern day, language in in cannabis dispensaries and in books and all over the internet that you see cannabis uh, sativa versus indica is supposed to mean things the fact is is that almost all plants that you're going to see um purchase grow your own they're almost all going to be hybrids it's really difficult to find a pure sativa plant or a pure indica plant and even if you could it wouldn't mean that one would make you uplifted and one would make you sleepy um, so they're almost all hybrids what people are really looking for is an effects-based um, profile. What, what they want is they want to feel focused or they want to feel sleepy or they want to feel couch lock or they want to feel energized. And so the conversation can switch a little bit instead of just saying like, oh, there's only two kinds of pot and one's going to make you uplifted and one's going to make you pass out on the couch. That's not actually the way it is. So the what what to do is two things so one consider your thc cbd profile most pot that um you're buying to smoke in canada in canada to like have a like a fun night on the couch it's going to be mostly thc and um thc has a whole bunch of different effects on you for a lot of people it makes you feel really sleepy so you could say like oh that's the indica but actually it's the thc and it same same thing with CBD. For some people, CBD makes you feel really energized and uplifted, and for some people, it makes you feel sleepy. So the first thing to do is to look at your uh, cannabinoid profile, your THC versus CBD profile, what you're actually consuming. And the second thing is terpenes, which is my favorite thing to talk about, and it's Rebecca's favorite thing to talk about too. So that's where you can uh, really dive into getting the effects that you want. So if you want to feel uplifted and happy and energized, try to find something that has limonene in it. And if you're looking for like a really tired, like pass out, you need, you need to conk out for the night um, kind of cannabis, then you're going to be looking for something that has, has lots of myrcene in it. And that's why I always encourage you to look at those terpenes and uh, figure out what their corresponding effects are so that you can hopefully help um, guide yourself towards cannabis that works for what you want it to work for. I do have a video on that on my YouTube channel and I'll somehow try to post it um, here so that you can uh, take a look at some of the terpenes and how they might affect you. And if you're part of the Canamamas Facebook group, which I'll try to link here as well, then you would already know all this great stuff about terpenes because one of our awesome members posts about it every Tuesday. So I hope that helps you understand um, the difference between sativa and indica, it, it, there is a difference, but it has nothing to do with effects, really, unfortunately. Um, lots of people will label their products, sativa and indica, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to take um, those terpenes and, and kind of fit them into the sativa indica binary. But you know better, you can go in and ask for specific terpenes and specific effects, and you can search those out. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.